Thanks for clicking on the webcast. I'm Laura Queso. Here's the latest from WENY TV News and the Star Gazette. The Bradford County man behind bars for starting a 14 hour standoff with police is facing more charges for allegedly trying to swindle his way out of jail. PA State Police say 37 year old Stephen Brown of Rome repeatedly reached out to a 43 year old female. In these conversations, Brown allegedly urged the woman to contact the Bradford County District Attorney and police to change her side of the story of what led to that standoff. Back on October 23rd, Brown sheltered himself inside his home in Rome Township, threatening to kill the woman inside with him. 14 hours later, he was taken into custody. Brown faces the additional charges of intimidation of witnesses or victims and criminal attempt to obstruct administration of the law. He was recommitted to the Bradford County Jail on additional bail. Stephen Brown is now charged with intimidating his victim. Police at Cornell University say the report of a rape on the Ithaca campus back in September never actually happened. This comes after an extensive investigation. The false report stated a rape occurred on September 26th on the trolley bridge that's near Cascadilla Creek. Police say they interviewed the person who reported the rape, potential suspects, witnesses and business owners in the reported area of the report. Investigators also collected and analyzed video and other physical evidence from multiple sources. They say given all this, the evidence does not match the crime and the case is closed this morning. Well, there's a big vote on the table this week for neighbors in Addison. A multi-million dollar project would upgrade buildings and athletic facilities in the Addison School District. This project comes in at $22 million. It would add a classroom wing, a gym and fitness center at the middle school and extensive upgrades at Tuscarora Elementary School. The roof at Valley Elementary would also be replaced. Superintendent Joe Diogard tells the Star Gazette this project will have no tax impact on residents nor business owners. He says the state will cover 98% of the costs. All local costs are covered by the district's $3.8 million capital reserve fund. And now here's meteorologist John Hickey with your forecast. John. Well, I hope you had a great weekend. It actually turned out okay. A lot of clouds around, but not too much in the way of rainfall. We've got a rainy day out there for you today, unfortunately, to get back to work and school, but there's some nicer weather conditions for the rest of the week. In fact, some of that rain tonight changes over to a period of some light snowfall with some very minor slushy accumulations possible across the highest terrain overnight. But then it's going to be fairly quiet here from Tuesday through Friday with perhaps a storm coming through next weekend, but it's not major. It would be a quick mover, and it's a little up in the air right now exactly what form of precipitation would fall. But again, it really wouldn't matter with just how quickly it seems to be moving through. As far as today goes, we'll time it out for you. This is 8 o'clock in the morning on Future Track. First initial batch of rain lifting off towards the northeast that brought us about a tenth to two tenths of an inch of rainfall. We'll wait for most of the day to actually see some more rain. So around your lunch hour, maybe a little mist or drizzle, but no heavy rainfall, that's for sure. But we'll go deeper into your afternoon and into your evening. We'll see a perhaps a slightly stronger slug of rain moving through and then with colder air filtering in behind a cold front. Expect that rain to change over to a period of some snow, probably just some big fat wet snowflakes that try to accumulate, but the ground's so warm, probably have a hard time doing so outside of say on the grass or on your car overnight. You might wake up tomorrow morning with that coating still out there, but we'll quickly see those uh, the snowfall melt with the ground not frozen. Temperatures tomorrow though much cooler than today with highs only in the upper 30s, which is seasonable for this time of year. And then we'll look for some more temperatures in the lower 40s on Wednesday. Interactive Sky Tracker 7 day forecast. Nice quiet week for the weather guy and for all of you at home. Low to mid 40s, partly cloudy sky with that slight chance of a quick moving storm moving through next weekend. That's your forecast. Here's Laura. All right, thank you, John. For the latest news, weather, and sports, be sure to watch WENY TV News in high definition. That's at 5 30, 6, and 11. And don't forget to pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette. I'm Laura Queso. Have a great day.